Hey folks welcome back so this is going to be a very quick follow-up video of my last video demonstration where I shown you how to create an executable jar file using manifest.mf and command line so in this demonstration video I'm going to uh, show you how to provide the runtime uh, <clears throat> arguments during a jar file execution so for this demonstration I'm gonna use the source code from the last demonstration video so if you uh, did not watch that yet please go ahead and check that out and probably I will link that out in the description so please go ahead and check that and if you are already familiar with the executable jar file creation using manifest.mfn um, command line then that's great carry on from right here so I really want to keep that very simple that is why I'm gonna remove this uh, this two declaration so right now our code is very much static with these uh, two variables. Uh, what I mean by that is every time we execute the jar file, our output will always be the same. Okay, so it's not a dynamic program and it's not reusable. So as a programmer, uh, you should be able to provide the uh, dynamic functionality to your code and reusability to your code. Okay, so how you can do that? So we can do it by providing the uh, allow our users to provide the uh, uh, value of a and b during the runtime okay so how we how the users can actually do it they can actually do it by uh, okay so let me let me write it first and then uh, discuss so let's say this one here so since we are gonna deal with the string uh, type value so we need to parse that to the double double type as we are actually expecting double values for our arithmetic operations so that is what we actually would like to do we want to take two parameters from the uh, during the runtime and then uh, do the exact calculation and then show the respective output to our user okay so now let me get back to the uh, folder location and let me get back here let me open this common line So I would like to recompile the classes again. So what I need to do is going to be demo test execute. Okay, great. So now our classes are compiled. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, we have the uh, existing jar file that we created in the last demonstration video. So um, instead of creating the, I mean, creating the new executable jar file or creating a new manifest.mf file I'm gonna reuse those I created in the last demonstration video so how we can actually recreate the jar here the command is same as the last uh, uh, same as the uh, fresh creation of a jar file that is the jar uh, type in cvfm and then type in the uh, we can actually create a fresh jar file if you want but I'm gonna uh, override the existing jar file here and provide the same manifest file name 
manifest.mf we're gonna put all the files inside so as you can see uh, this all files have been packed with this uh, executable.jar so right now let us execute that java jar executable.jar and previously it was 2538 to fix parameters so here we are gonna type in two new parameters which is going to be let's say uh, 5 and 5 first and as expected we are getting the correct output okay for some it's going to be 5 plus 5 is 10 and so for subtraction it's going to be 5 less 5 is equal to 0 so let's try that again with some new value let's say 50 25.5 so since we are dealing with the double so we our application should be able to handle the uh, floating floating point values as well or decimal values as well as expected we are getting the summation and the subtraction of 50 and 25.5 as well so that's great that means our uh, change is working but here one thing to note here is that if the user forgetfully add another uh, parameter here let's say 3 4 and 5 then our application throws an exception no it actually considers the first two one and uh, skips the third one it doesn't throw an exception at all so that's what i what i would like to show you in this demonstration video so thank you so much for watching see you next time peace out bye